Hey guys, it's your boy Echo, and welcome back to another Black Ops 4 video. Um, I just want to say thank you for all the support over the past four or five days. Um, I am very, very grateful. Um, yeah, I, I, I never expected so much support, so I am, tr I have, I really am grateful. It has been a hard time. Um, it's getting a little bit easier, but you know, it, it's, it's still a it's still a hard thing to to take and and all that but enough with the like sad stuff let's get into even some sadder stuff von der Haar forced me to do this i bought all the tears last night yay i'm currently recording this at like seven o'clock in the morning in fact this is my second attempt at the fucking video the first attempt did not go well we'll be honest um but yeah I did get the uh, the tears. I also bought the full stop uh, melee weapon, and I also got the astronaut bundle, um, which you know not too bad. I will take it. Like they're some pretty cool outfits. I will be honest, but that's not what we're here for today. What it kind of is and it kind of isn't. I opened up my weapon bribe and I got, as you probably can tell by the title, the Havelina AA50. This thing is a fucking beast for two reasons, well three reasons. It's a one hit kill, it's a semi-auto, so it kind of, uh, I don't know if you guys remember the the Barrett 50 cal from MWR, exactly the same pretty much, and it also has aim assist, as you might have to see in the next game. Um, yeah, this, this thing's a fucking beast. I was a little bit disappointed that I didn't get the um, oh what was it the the M16, but that's absolutely fine. I'm I'm not gonna complain. I'm actually enjoying this weapon. Um, I have used it a bit. We've actually got another got another attachment, so I'll take that. I'm gonna get rid of that. Don't know why, but. But yeah, we got the uh, AA-50, and we also got the Temple of Boom Swap Mastercraft, which I don't like because it's got spiders. I have mild arachnophobia, and this doesn't. Ugh. Yeah. Uh, before we get into a game, I also want to show you this. Just chilling, bros. <laughs> Sabre. Yeah, cringe, I know. Um. Another thing, we're going to open a reserve case, because why the fuck not? Imagine if I was to get the M16 or something out of this, that'd be fucking crazy. That's the only weapon I'm missing is the M16. And that's a reroll, and we're not going to get it now. These are both dupes. Yep, that's fine. Ah, you got a lot of Call of Duty. Really? Still chilling. Ah, don't blame you. Um, but yeah, we're going to get into a game, I'm going to give you some gameplay of it guys I don't know if there's been there has been some gameplay on YouTube but I'm gonna show you how a real master uh, I'll rephrase that I'll show you how a real noob snipes uh, but like I say this thing is a semi-auto one hit kill and it had aim assist which is crazy for a Call of Duty Black Ops game because I'm, I'm sure Black Ops 3 and the, the snipers in Black Ops 3 and the previous snipers in Black Ops 4 have no aim assist yet this does <laughs> so I don't really know what to think of this. But I like it. I will be honest. I like it. The only downside though of double X... Well, that just went well. Um, the only problem with the double XP for soldiers... Well, for, for your character and also for, uh, for weapons is that... Nine times out of ten, I get into a lobby that either has the Stingray with the Operator mod or without. So, yeah. Fuck's sake. Look at that, two kills already, and I don't even snipe. Just so you know, guys, I don't actually snipe. <laughs> Fuck, you know. Honestly, this is probably one of my new favourite weapons. Like, like I say, I'm not a sniper, so don't expect any anything crazy. Um... The best I can hope for is a double kill. Ready to irradiate. Oh, 
that's probably the best I'm going to hope for. Uh, the reload time is quite slow unless you get the uh, the fast reload or or insta reload, whatever it's called. Um, so that kind of like you know balances it out. Also, as well, I if I've got this right as well, if you try and spam we have the when you shoot. Yeah, if you try and spam uh, and everything, it I think it does lose its. Uh, I think it loses its uh, aim assist. Zero KIA. Fuck. Yeah, well, like I say I'm not a sniper. I do try. I do try and give it all a good go and that. I, I try with every weapon that I get used, that I have to use. Shot out. But uh. Ruin down. Fire break. Requesting UAV support. UAV above. Commencing operations. Zero. Neutralized. Jackson, kill. Sentry awaiting orders. UAV energy level. Oh my god. I'm kinda of going off right now. Sentry acquiring targets. Purifiers ready. Purifying. Hostiles have an assault pack. Ah, for fuck's sake. Fucking hell, we're going 16 3. That just proves that this is kind of overpowered, but at the same time, it's not. Like, you still need to have decent accuracy, especially if you want to try and get someone on your first shot. So, you know, that's absolutely fair. But, yeah, this thing is slightly overpowered. Ruin burnt. Oh, that would have been fucking sick as well. I'm not being funny, but my teammate, whoever used that Hellstorm... Just saved my ass. But yeah, like I say, the, the reload time is kind of slow. So that kind of counters, like, how strong it is. But honestly, this thing... I'm 19 and 4 with a sniper rifle. Can we just, like, take a moment to realise that? Okay, that wasn't in the script, but yeah. But honestly, I actually really like this, and like I say, I don't snipe, I'm not a sniper sort of person. But I think this might be my go-to sniper rifle now. Um, just so you guys are aware, obviously, this isn't available in... This isn't available to use in the, uh, the bare bones bolt action with reason because Reactor heating it up. I just wasted that but yeah but I actually really like this weapon like sure you know I, I would have rather had the uh, the M16 I think everyone would rather have the M16 because You know, it's one of them sort of weapons, and we are Make it annihilating these guys. And then I just got annihilated with the annihilator. 
<laughs> oh, the irony. Took me long enough. Wait, can you get up there? No, you can't. I don't know where I'm looking now. Come on, let's get a nice little finish to this. Okay, let's not get a nice little finish to this. <laughs> 21 and 7. We just... I fall. How did I just get play the game with the sniper rifle? Ruined down. Firebreak requesting UAV support. Oh, that just looks so bad on my part. <laughs> Do I care? No, because that's what Call of Duty is like nowadays. And this is a really good lobby as well, and I don't want to leave, but I'm going to have to, so because I need to end the video. Um my verdict is nerf it. I think honestly this weapon does need a little bit of a nerf. Uh make either make it a little bit weaker or slow the fire rate down, I'd say. That's my personal opinion for this. Either slow the fire rate down or or take off aim. Right, there's one of the three things they can do to make this a little bit more on par with other weapons and that, like other sniper rifles. Either give it no aim assist, or keep the aim assist but lower the fire rate, like make it slower. Or keep the aim assist, keep the same fire rate but just make it a little bit weaker. That's my, that's just my opinion. You know, everyone's entitled to their own opinions. Like I say, that is my opinion. Um, you know, we actually we we somehow got played the game with a sniper rifle. I think that's the first time it's ever actually happened to me. Um, mad. We actually went on a bloodthirsty. Yay! I'm so good. Um, but yeah, that's just my opinion. Let me know if you guys have used it um, or you've gone up against it. Do you think it's too strong? Do you think it's just right, or do you think it's too weak? I personally don't think it's weak at all. I think it's a little bit too overpowered. Um, I think they might need to buff the uh, the M16 a little bit and nerf this weapon. My personal opinion. You know. Also as well, Treyarch, if you're somehow watching this, please, please nerf the operator mod on the fucking uh, Stingray. Because that thing is still OP as hell. I don't know. Treyarch, like, you, you make some good Call of Duty games, don't get me wrong. Like, Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 was your best ones. Black Ops 3, meh, I didn't really play that much. I wasn't a fan of the EXO movement, so it's nothing personal. Gave Black Ops 4 a chance. And, yeah, this one has kind of just gone downhill. What I'm going to say is, Modern Warfare makers, please don't mess it up this time. <laughs> please don't. I, I hope you don't have weapon variants that increase gun stats and that, because we don't need that in the game. Um... Please just make it like really, really fun to play. Because by the way, it just looks brilliant in a way. Um, but yeah, I'm rambling on too much, so I'm gonna leave the video here. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy it, do hit that like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll make. Uh, I don't, I don't even talk. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.